What's up? Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Give me a favor, like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends. All that stuff helps the channel and it's free to you. It's Memorial Day weekend here in the U.S. And uh, really it's the day before Memorial Day in the U.S. And uh, me, Dave, and Juan are going to head up to this place called Brown Mountain Overlook. It's it's on this road in North Carolina. It's a scenic byway that cuts through called uh, 181. It's a really freaking cool road to ride. So we're going to head up there, see that. They go a little further north, west, catch the Blue Ridge Parkway, ride some of that for a little while, back to Lenore, North Carolina, and then start making our way back home. Should be about a 270 mile day and take us about four and a half, five hours of riding time. It's going to take us maybe a little longer than that due to stops and such, so stick around. I'm going to go ahead and make a real quick correction. On this day, we ended up not making it to Lenore. Weather caused us to start making our way back home sooner, so we made it as far as Blowing Rock. Uh, we still ended up being gone about seven hours. Uh, right now, Juan and I are riding over to meet David. And then we can go get some lunch. And, well, when we go meet David, long story short, David found a, like a shaky booby thing and um, bought it. And I told him it would be hilarious if we had some way to affix it to Juan's motorcycle without him knowing. So we did. David's wife helped us out with that. Um, we glued a mag, well, David glued a magnet to the bottom of it, covered it with felt so it would scratch the paint. And... Uh, Desi, his wife, slipped it on the back of Juan's bike, which was freaking hilarious because Juan did not know that we were uh, that we did it. So that's what you're seeing right now. We stopped and had some really good tacos, and then took off to 181, the fastest way we could get there. I asked me to rev my bike, so I did. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with, uh, I guess, the western North Carolina area, um, it, there's a scenic byway that's known to a lot of the locals. It's NC-181. Basically, it starts in Morganton, North Carolina, which is where we just were, and runs up to, I'm probably going to say this wrong, Pinola, but... It's about a 30-mile length of road. Brown Mountain Overlook is approximately 20 miles up that road from Morganton. So we just left Morganton, and we're getting on to 181 right now. Uh, it's a really cool road, and it's a, it's a destination for a lot of the local riders because it's got stops at both ends. It, I'll, I'll try to describe this. It's you're going up a mountain and at one end there's a gas station at the other end there's a barbecue joint and it's not the barbecue joint I'm going to show you here I haven't eaten at it so I couldn't recommend it but there are a lot of bikers that'll go out there and run it from one end to the other back and forth to see if they can improve their times uh, of course we're talking sport bikes that kind of thing um, the baggers go out there too, though, and just so that they can have some fun in the twisties because it really is a very fun road. If you're ever out in this area or if you live here and you just haven't heard of this area before, I suggest you check it out. We're about to pull into the Overlook right now, and uh, I'll go ahead and give you a heads up. 
when you pull into the overlook, if you want to go from there to the access for the Blue Ridge Parkway, because there is an access to the BRP from 181, if you want to get to that access and go ride the Blue Ridge Parkway some, you're going to be turning right out of this overlook. No matter which way you come in from it, you're going to be turning right out of this overlook. And it's about five miles up the road. can't tell this road has a lot of sweeping turns it does have some tighter more technical turns as well but it's really on the scale of technicality one to ten it's probably about a six and a half maybe a seven it's a ton of fun to ride it's really cool on a motorcycle and right now we're on that little like it's about five miles up the road maybe six from where the overlook is to where you can access the Blue Ridge Parkway. I have eaten barbecue at that joint, and it is fantastic. I suggest you stop there. Don't know the name of it, but you just saw it on the video, and it's before you get to the Blue Ridge Parkway when you're heading north on 181. So we're heading up 181. We're just enjoying the, the ride. The weather's beautiful, and we're just enjoying really hanging out. We're getting ready to turn on the parkway right now. Welcome to the Blue Ridge Parkway. A public service announcement first for someone that is familiar with that area and familiar with, well, that road. There are two things that you need to be aware of. One of them you need to be aware of all the time. The other one you need to be aware of certain times of the year. First is the speed limit on the Blue Ridge Parkway is 45 miles an hour. And they pretty much enforce that. So don't go out there and show your ass you can probably get away with 50 55 without getting pulled over but going out there and trying to it is a very kind of meandering road that begs to be ridden at like 60 65 miles an hour just be aware of that you don't mind getting a ticket you don't mind paying the fine you don't mind being thrown under the jail knock yourself out be aware of it Second thing is, especially like this right now is on Sunday, uh, the Sunday before Memorial Day. Memorial Day was the, uh, this was Sunday the 26th of May in 2024. And there were several sections, there were several parts, there wasn't a part on the parkway that you did not have to worry about big potholes. They do get weather up there. And sometimes they don't have time to repair the road. Now, one thing about 181, 181 is usually in very good condition pretty much all the time. Blue Ridge Parkway suffers from some damage from time to time is a good way to put it. And when we were riding it, there was a lot of potholes through certain sections of it. So if you're going to go anytime soon, just be aware of that. But really be aware of your speed on this road. 45 miles an hour. I don't care what your GPS says. What matters is what the little white signs on the side of the road with the black letters on them say. And they don't come very frequently. So I never saw, I only saw one sign in this entire like, I think we rode it for uh, maybe 20 miles. I saw one little section where it was 55 miles an hour 
by the posted speed limit. The rest of the time it was 45. So just be aware of that if you're gonna ride up here. I will say this though, allow time. When you ride this road, take your time with it because there are sections of it that are just absolutely breathtaking. And there's overlooks and lookouts all along it. So take your time, take time to stop and take pictures, take video, look at what you're seeing, learn a little bit about the area. It's a really cool road. It's, it's one of the most, uh, it, probably one of the most famous scenic roads in the whole United States. Take your time and enjoy it. Another thing to consider when you're riding the Blue Ridge Parkway is that it is it's not as accessible as an interstate. There are very particular points where you can enter it and where you can leave it. And you need to take that into consideration when you're planning your routes. From the Lenco Viaduct that you just saw, the exit from the parkway to get to Blowing Rock is about, if I had to guess, eight miles maybe nine and most of it is like what you're seeing now woods there's a few places where you go around you know some openings and you can see more of the the landscape but it's pretty much like that we pulled into blowing rock as i said earlier because weather was going to be a determining factor for us and we need to start making our way back home because at this point we are approximately two and a half hours from our houses David's close to three hours from his because he's got another 30 minutes past where Juan and I get off. Uh, we did see some cool people in Blowing Rock when we pulled in that decided to wave at us and give us the thumbs up about the bikes. Hope you enjoyed riding along with us today. Juan and I are just about home, and uh, I'm glad you came along with us today. I really am. Hope you learned something. Hope you get out to this section of my state, because it's it really can be absolutely beautiful if the weather's right. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends. All that stuff helps the channel, and it's free to you. Always ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>